Shalom. Call Halal Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone to talk with this truth of Ruel. Salutation and citations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you, I say Shalom. To the Akim and to the Akwaf. That will be your brothers and sisters. Adawan Ratazah. That is to say, Lord willing. Hopefully, by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. Alright? Um, this is your brother Amawan. I buy from the GMS Miami camp. And um, back again with another lesson to the spirit part. You have a Bashim. You have a Shai. To flee the lambs of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. And this lesson today is going to be going into um, how the grinding is becoming low. Okay? Meaning the jobs. Scripture speaks about, you know, no work for Egypt. Okay? The daughter of Babylon, a.k.a. America, is known as spiritual Egypt. When you read Revelation uh, the 11 chapter and the 8th verse, goes into that. But um, nonetheless, I have an article here I'm going to read. It's from Natural News. And it's going into uh, major layoffs. And um, we've been speaking on this topic now, you know, and I've been seeing articles also on this topic from a good while back how in 2023 you know a lot of layoffs is coming could possibly be a, a year of recession you know but these things are forecast man and the scriptures tell you you know in a lot of in a lot of days you know the grinding is gonna 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 get low man to the point where it ceases. you know gonna have famines Right now you got inflation, you know, eggs, the price of eggs are skyrocketing. So all of this is going to have cause and effect, you know. Inflation is high. People barely can afford grocery. When they when they go to the grocery store, you grab a certain amount of items, put it in the bag, and you almost at $100 just for a few items. You can imagine if you're out of work and trying to do that with the cost of living right now, even housing is up. You know, but we're gonna get into this article real quick. On <clears throat> before I get into it, all right. This is an article from Natural News, and it's dated Monday, January the thirtieth, which is yesterday, twenty twenty three. And um, I'm gonna put up a quick disclaimer. All right, quick disclaimer: Fair Use Act, the Copyright Act of nineteen seventy six. Okay, um, Fair Use, which gives way for criticism and commentary all right uh so this article i don't own the article right this is just being used for educational purposes this is not for monetary gain or anything of that nature all right this is just being used for educational purposes so fair use act would be my disclaimer okay the copyright act, act of 1976 once again which gives uh way for criticism and commentary and things of that nature so we're going to get into this article real quick right the title of the article says laid off google employee cries on tiktok after sharing how lavish her life and job were at the tech giant right laid off google employee cries on tiktok okay after sharing how lavish her life and job were at the tech giant so at one point she's living lavish you know she was having a ball working at the tech things was good you know but out of nowhere they come in with these sudden layoffs man you know but hey before we get too far let's get a scripture and then uh we're gonna go back to the article this is ecclesiastes chapter 12 
a verse. I'll start at verse 1. The point is verse 3 and 4. And I will come back to the point. I'm going to just read down to 2. It says, Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not. This word evil is a compound word. When you break it down, it means bad time. Okay, Eve meaning time and ill meaning bad. Okay, remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days, the bad times, come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. So you got to remember the Lord, man, right through, not just when you're in trouble, or when you're hungry or thirsty, or when you're out of work. You got to keep the Lord in the forefront, man. Keep the main thing the main thing, which is the Ha'abashim El Shai. All right? It says, verse 2, Ecclesiastes 12 and 2, while the sun all the light, all the moon, all the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain. So, before things get out of hand, you got to remember Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. You see, you got to remember the creator, the creator in the days of thy youth. You got to keep the Lord constantly on, 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 on your heart, man, and in your mind. You see, you can't forsake the Lord. And the Lord ain't going to forsake you. You see? So, a lot of these people, as the scriptures say, the wicked, the Mosa is not in all their thoughts. You see? Where's that scripture real quick if I could go to it? A lot of these people, they only seek the law when they're in trouble. But they forsake the law when things good for them. Let's see if I can grab that scripture right quick. I believe it's uh, Psalms 10 and 4, I want to say. Right. The wicked... Through the pride of his consonants will not seek after the Mosai. The Mosai is not in all his thoughts, right? So a lot of people, you know, when things good, they ain't remembering the Mosai. Okay, another scripture that comes to mind is um, Ecclesiasticus chapter 11 and verse 25. This is all through the Spirit. It says, I got a few scriptures right, jotted down still. But um, it says, Ecclesiasticus 11 and 25, it says, In the day of prosperity, there is a forgetfulness of affliction, you see. She was saying, let's go back to that title. Let's go back to that uh, title. I lost it. Let me go back to that uh, scripture real quick. And we're going to go back to that. Uh, uh, it says, in the day of prosperity, she was, when she was living her lavish life, right? She wasn't thinking about what could possibly happen if we laid off. She'd be, you know, always stay, stir, save up some money for a rainy day. Of course, you trust in Yahweh, Bashim, El Shai, keep the faith. The Lord is going to be with you, but you got to also use wisdom. Save, save a little thing for a rainy day. Put a little thing aside. You know how it is. It says, in the day of prosperity, there is a forgetfulness of affliction. You see? So she was living it up. Here's the title read. Laid off Google employee cries on TikTok after sharing how lavish her life and job were at the tech giant. You see? So, things were so good, right? She forget that <laughs> if, if affliction comes suddenly upon you, all right? You got to be ready to deal, man. It says, in the day of prosperity, there's a forgetfulness of affliction. And in the day of affliction, there is no more remembrance of prosperity, you know. And not, not dealing with a lot of different things, you know, going into sickness and riches also, you know, being up or being down. You know, if you if you if you sick, you wish you were healed. If you poor, you know what I'm saying. You wish you could at least stay above a, 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 a float a float to a certain level. You don't must be rich, but you know what I mean. At least get your daily bread. Some people not even getting their daily bread. Some people homeless, man. So this is why you you cannot you should not forsake the Lord. You should seek the Lord, man. You know. But a lot of these people only when 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 as as the world say when shit hit the fans is when they actually start to call, you know, start to think about the Lord, man. Okay, because a lot of them don't even have the name, the true names of the Lord, to call upon it, which is Yahweh. Okay. Bahashim in the name Yahweh Shai. You see? So going back to the article. Shalakia. Uh bear with me a second. 
Bear with me for one second. Mm. Hello. Salakia, Salakia, um, yeah, uh, I have something uh, going on right here. I'll just um, step out real quick. Somebody came to uh, uh, look at look at the place real quick. But um, finishing off, um, going back to the article, it says, yeah, uh, laid off Google employee cries on TikTok after sharing her lavish, how lavish her life and job were at the tech giant okay so this this lady this lady was living it up you know but then all of a sudden uh they were laid off suddenly man abruptly so let's get into some of the article we're gonna get a few scriptures and close it out it says natural news some google staffers who earned a degree of fame on TikTok bragging about and showcasing their easy, lavish life. Like, you know, working at the tech behemoth. Behemoth. I want to look that word up. Behemoth. At the tech behemoth. Are now offering very raw, extremely emotional insights into their new realities after being laid off this week. Okay, now when I first read this article earlier to work, because I, I usually do my lunch, my, my lesson during my lunch break, but I, I didn't I didn't get the time to do it today, so I'm doing it now that I got home. And that word I, I wanted to look up that word because I think I heard somebody went into this word before behemoth or behemoth, but um, uh, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna finish the lesson. Time's sake, I'm, I'm, I'll get back to that. Um, it says Nicole Sai, Nicole Say, who worked at the company's LA office, was among those who had used the platform to share a glimpse into her life. And as one of the tech's giant employees, her inv in her invaluable vlogs, which helped her grow her following to more than thirty six thousand. Had previously showcased Google's theme, meeting rooms in free lunches and speakeasy bar that was used during happy hours. But her latest social media updates have been far less glamorous after being among the 12,000 workers laid off by the company. You see that? She's among 12,000 workers that were laid off in the company, man. 12,000. Okay. Now uh, let's go back to the scripture. But we was reading Ecclesiastes chapter 12. I read verse 1 and verse 2. Ecclesiastes chapter 12. All right? Uh, Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes chapter 12. Why is this showing me?
That's 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 strange. The amp <laughs> that is very strange. The amp is showing me two different verses from Salakia. Let me check this real quick. I see what I need, but I, I, I also see something that, that doesn't look right. Let's go back to it again. There you go. The I'm somehow was showing me the first two verses that I read. It was showing me, it wasn't showing me those verses just now. It showed me about this chapter beginning from three, which I'm going to read now at four. But the first two verses was from a different chapter. I don't understand how that happened. But I got it now, though, still. It says, I'm going to jump in here straight at verse three. It says, In the days when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves. Now remember, she was among 12,000 people that was laid off. 12,000, bro. And the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease because they are few. So the jobs, the jobs are, the jobs are becoming scarce, man, especially in those tech jobs. Okay, it says, And those that look out of the windows be darkened, and the days and slacky, and the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low. And he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. You see? This is this is the time that we're entering into, man. Okay, the sound of the grinding is low. She's among twelve thousand that was suddenly laid off, man. You see? Now let's go back to the article. Um Going back to the article, it says, uh, it says, real quick, right, it says, um, her earliest vlogs reveal life behind the scenes at the company's Los Angeles office, which was once an aircraft hangar. Say, who began working for Google in July 2001, provided a video tour of the Zero Gravity and Peter Pan themed rooms, as well as a library, the Speakeasy Bar, and, a, and, and an arcade video games that were set up for employees to use. In another video, she bragged about art installations at the location, as well as a coffee shop, a ritzy confetti room full-bodied massage chairs and provided a look into the free lunches available to all employees so things were good at the job it says but all of that ended this week as she became one of the thousands of people laid off by the tech behemoth okay behemoth in a vlog titled a day in my life getting laid off at google she did a voiceover of the clip beginning with I woke up to this really omnibus um, te text from my boss, and I honestly had no idea what it was going to be about, so I called her the minute I woke up and saw it. I rushed downstairs to find out that I had lost access to basically everything and couldn't log into my email or even check my calendar. I called my boss back, and we just sobbed over the phone because she was also finding out about my layoff for the first time today too she continued it is ju it just felt like a really bad game of russian roulette and there was no consistency around who was let go and it was also not performance based so it was really random say at it she ended the clip by saying that she didn't really know what was next for her but did tell her followers and fans that she planned to continue to document her life and what happens next however she is not the only former google employee to have documented their documented their before and after life at the company following the mass layoff so this was a mass layoff man it says my entire team got laid off from google the writing had been on the wall for a really long time, said Oni Francis, who has more than 230,000 followers on TikTok, vlogged after being let go. Layoffs were not performance-based. I received an exceed an exceeds expectation on my last performance review, and it was strictly just people 
had to go because the company needed to save money. Yeah, you see? Robots and these different things are going to be doing this job in the future, man. You see? Let's get a, let's get another scripture. Let's 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 interject a next scripture real quick. Okay, let's get a we want to get the book of Isaiah 19 chapter that scripture. Isaiah chapter 19 and verse 15. It says, Neither shall there be any work for Egypt which the head or tail branch may do. Now we know the daughter of Babylon, a.k.a. America, is known as spiritual Egypt. And that's talking about these times. Okay, neither shall there be any work for Egypt which the head, because Isaiah 19 goes, is going into the daughter of Babylon, is going into a.k.a. America, man. All right? Neither shall there be any work for Egypt. So, that's what's going to be happening, man. It's going to get to the point where the jobs going to be, become so low, you know, and that that happened even during the time of the the the, the C nineteen, man. Okay, remember there was a, there only 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 essential workers could go to work at the time, if if you remember. Okay, so Isaiah nineteen and verse fifteen: Neither shall there be any work for Egypt, which the head, which the head or tail branch, or rush may do. You see. Yeah. Read now it says it says um the layoffs did not just affect people at my level. There were VPs and directors that were also laid off. Francis who worked in New York City noted further. So VP and directors and all. Okay, she's she did say she is stable financially and was planning to turn in her notice even before the layoffs. But they did come suddenly. And that's how these things mostly happen most of the time. Suddenly. Unexpectedly. It says, and it's just, it is just the latest tech company to announce cost-cutting measures with Meta, Twitter, Amazon, and Microsoft among those to have laid off employees. The Daily Mail noted further. Now, you see that? Look at all of these different companies. Meta, Twitter, Amazon, Microsoft. Okay, and we are reading about Google here, right? So that that this is, and 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 Jake Jake is among a lot of these uh, 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 companies too. You see, Jake Jake work among a lot of these companies too, man. That's that's the end of the article. So let's get a few more scriptures, and we gonna close it out. Like, like like I was saying, Jake Jake work among a lot of these companies too. You see, so let's get a. Uh, uh, so when you, if you, especially if you order work, I mean, with the price of food right now, inflation, gas going up again, all right? If you are at work, man, that, that's tough. Because even when you work, with, with you having a job, is the, the price of food right now and gas is tough. So you can imagine not having a job. <laughs> the scriptures say in the end days, there'll be famine, man. Your president told you that the, the, the shortages of food are, are real. You see? But let's go to the book of Isaiah. We're going to get Isaiah chapter 3 and verse 1. Because Jake, Jake worked a lot of these texts too. It says, For behold, the Lord power. It says, For behold, the Lord, the Lord of hosts, do take away from Jerusalem. Remember, Jerusalem is a people before us a place. And from Judah, the stay and the staff, the whole stay of bread and the whole stay of water. You see? It's going to get to that point, man. It's going to definitely get to that point. It's going to get to that point where... Look at the price of eggs. You see? You see the price of eggs and certain meats? You go to a certain restaurant and order certain meats, you're paying top money, man. Because the price of meats are up. You see? And this is Ezekiel. Uh, I can't believe I didn't finish writing down that scripture, but I'm about to find it real quick. Come on. Ezekiel chapter 4. I start at verse 16. It says, Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, behold, I will break the staff of bread in Jerusalem, and they shall eat bread by weight and with care. Okay? And they shall drink water by measure and with astonishment. You see? And they, that they may want bread and water and be astonished with another and consume away for the iniquity. So, yeah. We live in a time where these things are going to come to pass, man. You see, they're talking about a, a universal basic income. These are the things where they're trying to implement, man. 
Okay? This guy, Claude Swab, talking about you, you would own nothing and be happy. <laughs> That's why you got you to gotta call upon the Lord, man. You know, tend upon the works of the Lord. Pray to the Lord. Repent, turn back to him. Seek Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. To escape these things, man. The, 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 pray the Lord keep the spirit upon you to endure until the end. Because hard times are coming. Tribulation is coming, man. You see? Things are, things are tightening up, man. Even for people that work. Even for people who do got their jobs. You know? I'm going to end it here. This is Revelation chapter 6. On verse 6, it says, And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny. And see, thou hurt not the oil and the wine. You see? That's going into how a day's wage, you know, it's going to take a day's wage to get food, man. <laughs> you see? Because with inflation so high, and it's only going to get worse. Look at the price of eggs once again. All right? In some places, eggs, eggs are skyrocketing, man. Eggs are becoming a high commodity because, because there's so less of them now. You know? It's ridiculous. I was, I forget that. I, I, I seen a, an article today. Another uh, food processing plant burnt. So it's, 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 we're here, man. We're here. You see? It's going to get to that point where a day's wage is only going to be able to buy food for you, man. You see? But yeah. Yeah, man, the the the, the, the grinding uh, 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 season, man, uh, because it's it's getting low. Major layoffs, in major cities, even tech jobs. These big jobs, or you think that you think that you're secure in your job, but guess what? Prophecy going forward, man. The scripture we read it, man. It ain't gonna be no, it ain't gonna be no, 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 no jobs in Egypt, man. It's gonna get to that point. You see, because we, you already see where the system is going right now. They're trying to get everybody on one line. They're trying to get everybody on one line. You would own nothing and be happy. That's that's where they headed. But you know what the scriptures say. I'm a, I'm gonna end it with this one here for those those that not forsaken the Lord and those that trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, because the Lord ain't gonna forsake them because they trust in Him, and that's why the scripture speaks about. Uh, the hour of temptation, the Lord say, as a matter of fact, let me get that scripture first and then I'll get the one that I want to end with. This is Revelation chapter 3 and verse 10. It says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, right? You're not forsaken the Lord. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation because that's where all of this is going to lead up to. Which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. You see? The Lord says he's going to keep those who kept his patience, man. All right? Yeah, so um, uh, scripture I was thinking about is um, Isaiah 10 and 20. And we end it here. Because we're coming into a time where you're going to have to live by faith. The scripture said the just shall live by faith. And that's how you're going to have to live, man, so you don't bow to the system. You see? Because this system is a, this, they, the only thing they got prepared is pure perverseness, man. Uh, uh, Isaiah 10 and 20. I pray to Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shimei Shai, keep the spirit upon me, okay, to endure until the end. And I do pray for brothers and the sisters that believe in the truth and believe in Yahweh Shimei Shai. This is uh, Isaiah 10 and verse 20. It says, And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smart them, which is Esau, okay, but shall stay upon the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, in truth. The remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, okay, unto the mighty power, all right? So, at the end of the day, I'm going to end it there. Lord willing, you are edified on to the next one. Shalom.